The bait making transgender agenda the elephant in the room. The article that was entitled Twitter Removes Tweets About Trans Day of Vengeance, written by Barbara Ortute, Twitter says it has removed thousands of tweets showing a poster promoting a trans day of vengeance protest in support of transgender rights in Washington, D.C. on Saturday. Ella Irwin, Twitter's head of trust and safety, said in a tweet Wednesday that the company automatically removed more than 5,000 tweets and retweets of a poster promoting the event. Clearly, they seek attention. She stated, We do not support tweets that incite violence, irrespective of who posts them. Vengeance does not imply peaceful protests. Organizing or support for peaceful protests is okay. In removing the tweets, Twitter said it used automatic processes to do it quickly at a large scale without considering what context the tweets were shared in. Because of this, both tweets that were critical of and those that supported the protests were removed. Now realize this comes after one of their own viciously murdered six people. However, this appeared to anger many conservative Twitter users who said the rules were unfairly applied to them because they were posting the image of the protest flyer to speak out against it. No need for those who posted in objection to the transgender revenge poster being upset that Twitter also removed their posts. One thing they need to learn is that the transgender intelligentsia actually use and depend upon that opposition because it brings the attention that they want. They want that visibility. They want this abnormal behavior tossed about within social media. They want the perception of the elephant in the room when it is actually a mouse. They use it like some in the entertainment industry. That is, bad publicity is good publicity. It puts the name, it puts the agenda in the minds of the many. It brings ears and eyes to them, to their agenda.